Last thing I ever wanted to do was reopen it. <laughs> but here we are. Thank you, Bill Short. What was it like seeing the Prime Minister here today? What do you think of that? Oh, it'd be all right if he does something, if he listens, but that's another story. I told him to handle it, don't hand it down the line, because what's happening is crap. It's bad. People come in to help us and they won't even grab a hose. Or they just sit in a truck. It's pretty sad. And what kind of conditions, uh, what do you want to see the Prime Minister do? I'll just give all the powers back to the local captains. He's got to do it. <laughs> Otherwise we're screwed. Now, I'm not putting this shirt back on no more. No. All the locals, we're just going to have our own shit and do our own stuff. Get in, put the fires out. Sure. Let's just move back from there. Come on. Hey guys, I've just reseated that. Yeah, please, off the thing. Sorry, mate. All good. That's all good. Thanks. I have a lot of respect for your country. I have a lot of respect and a lot of friendship for your people. I just say when you, when we have respect, you have to be two and you have to behave in line and consistently with this value. Do you think he lied to you? I don't think. I know. My question is to the Treasurer. Will the Treasurer outline to the House what the government is doing to ensure that Australia has a strong economy that creates jobs and reduces cost of living pressures? How does a competitive economy help hard-working Australians get ahead, especially in regional parts of Australia like Canning? Yeah, the yeah. Treasurer has the call. Thank you, Mr Speaker. This is coal. Don't be afraid. The Don't be scared. Won't the Treasurer you. knows the rule on crops. It's coal. It was dug up by men and women who work and live in the electorates of those who sit opposite. From the Hunter Valley, as the member for Hunter would know. It's coal that has ensured for over a hundred years the that Deputy Australia Prime Minister. has enjoyed an energy competitive advantage that has delivered prosperity to Australian businesses and has ensured that Australian industry has been able to remain competitive on a global market. But not for a glum looking Scott Morrison and wife Jenny snapped during their secret Hawaiian holiday. The how are you? I'm only shaking your hand if you give more funding to our RFS. There's so many people here have lost their homes. We need more help. Prime Minister, you're on the bus tour. Huh? Yeah. Why are you flying? Well, the bus is going all the way up to Rocky, and then it's uh, and that's that's where it was always planning to go. I mean, it's a big state. So why and, uh, have the bus? Because it gets me from A to B. Will you be taking the bus, the bus to Rockhampton from here? Yes. The bus will be going to Rockhampton from here. If That's right. Um, I've got to get there earlier than the bus tonight. So you'll be flying to Rockhampton? I'll get into Rockhampton tonight and I'll be, uh, I've will be. i got a, a, a program tonight in Rockhampton. The bus can't get me there quick enough, okay, so, so I've got to fly. you to Rockhampton, the bus will catch up with you and then you'll fly on and you, Townsville? And you, I'll be flying on the Townsville. And your point is what? Uh, I'm just interested in the point of the bus if you're not on it. I am on it. I just got off it. Thank, Thank you. you. If you don't, well, enjoy. You're obviously sending. The Prime Minister spent the day touring Lismore with media only invited to film one organised interaction. So normally under a normal sort of flood event at its peak, we're maybe... It wouldn't be in here. We wouldn't be in here at all. I believe that it is a pretty blanket band-aid solution. Um, we don't have a town to spend any money in. Oh, right. So you used, used to be a tradesman before? Oh. His blinding insight... This edge here? Yeah, you got to do it. Oh, oh. Oh. 
Look, mate, in, in 1991 Social Security Act, yeah. that's what you're relying on. Oh, Get out of your way. Let talking. me talk. We're talking. OK, this is what you said when you got elected last time. Mm. We're going to help all those people that worked all their lives, yeah. paid their taxes, yeah. and those that have a go will yeah. get a go. Yeah. Hey, you better f do no, something. Sir, okay. I don't care. No, sir. I'm sick of your b Scano, can I ask you? I just wanted to say hi. I'm pretty astounded as a young bloke here. Uh, good to see you. Can I get a photo? Is, sure. that, is that all right? Yeah. Are you in the press pack, are you? No. Oh, right. <laughs> no, no, I'm a local live up in the mountains. So, oh, okay. uh, can, I, can I ask one question? Yeah, yeah sure. One, one question. Yeah, I'm just up in the mountains, so I'll come down today. Um, I, I just got. Yeah, one of my mates works behind the bar. He said, oh, okay. So, yeah. I just yeah. want to ask uh, one question, Scano. Look, um, across. Of course, you don't mind. I'm just What's going on there? No, why is it recording? Oh, I'm just... I'm, well, I just want to ask you a question. What are you Mate, I'm sorry, this is a private event. Oh, well, sorry about that. I, I think yeah, this, this, is a, this is a media... Well, I'm, I'm oh, posting some drinks for the I'm media not, event. I just want to ask you a question. Sorry, sorry what's going on? Nothing for rent relief, though. Why not? This is about Australians getting into homes. Best way to support people who are renting a house is to help them buy a house. And over the last three years, we've got over 300,000 Australians directly into their own home, and particularly single mums, um, where we're reducing the amount of a deposit but they need from 20%. But I'm not talking about home ownership here, though, Prime Minister. I'm not talking about yeah, home ownership here. I'm talking about rental relief for the thousands of millions of people who are renting. And yeah. I think for a lot of places, like in regional um, Australia, rents have gone up about 18 to 20 per cent. Yeah, I know, but that's my point. People I think Malcolm Turnbull calls you a serial liar. Well, look, I mean, politics. People have had, take sledges at me all the time, Neil. Um, anyone in public life. Yeah, but he's your that. mate. And I mean, the, the, he, he was a friend, and he's, he's saying you have always been a liar. That must have. Uh, look, now, a former Prime Minister of Australia, you know, the French President, could both calling you a liar, and it doesn't worry you, even politically. I mean, personally, no, because not. I'm making the right decisions now. Now, PM to come and meet me, Paul Parker from Nelligan. Meet you any day, pal. And so, you know, it's not a race. It's not a race. It's not a race. Now, this is not a race. It's not a race. And so the key is, it's not a race. Does the Prime Minister still say that vaccinating all Australians, including aged care residents and workers, is, to quote him, not a race? I do stand behind my words, Mr Speaker. I do stand by my words, Mr Speaker. And so the key is, it's not a race. Right? It's not a competition.